Okay, so this is a brief explanation, video explanation for those of you who are audio and video learners of what we're going to be doing uh, with the Lich King fight. So uh, what you're seeing here is the layout for phase one. And um, y you'll see that uh, what we're doing is exactly what we've done before, except we're going to move uh, the fight over to what looks like about 2 o'clock. Um, and the, uh, the reason for that is so that we can get closer to Remorseless Winter, uh, closer to the edge when Remorseless Winter happens. Um, you'll be assigned groups, two range groups, and that'll be your group. Those assignments will be laid out before the fight begins. So that fight will be done the same. We're just moving it to a different spot to protect against Remorseless Winter. So what'll happen is, as you know, the boss will run to the center and will begin um, like an AoE damage phase. The way that damage is laid out is if you are not off the main platform and on the exterior platform, the exterior ring that you'll see here, um, the boss does damage to you. So we're going to move the whole raid off there. You'll keep those range groups. So if you're in range group 2, you'll be going here. If you're in range group 1, you'll be going over here. We're going to move the melee to here, and this will be Pally Poppy, who will have the Lich King. I will stay off to the side uh, with my Shambling Horrors. What this does is it reduces the damage that folks take in their groups. Um, so we think that's a major positive to reduce the damage taken. Um, so what we're going to do is... When we complete that phase two, we're going to go in and stack for Valkyr. So this is what the Valkyr phase will look like. We'll have the whole raid stacked kind of directly behind the Lich King. Both tanks will be here, turning him in a specific direction, which may change. We are going to have a pre-assigned Hodge rotation. So you'll have a mark for each Hodge, um, and it'll be me, Pally Poppy, and Winter. We'll have the first for each of the three Hodges, which start it. When they come out of that Hodge, we'll enter into a Holy Wrath, and we'll have Desecration and a Deadly Bruise spam, which will keep them at 50%. We believe that'll be enough um, to kill the Valkyrs without much issue. Um, in that same phase, there will be a... Uh, um, okay, well, I've actually lost the slide. Uh, there will be a... Here it is, I'm sorry. So within that phase, when we have a, um, uh, a Defile come out... You're going to ask the Defile to move to the right, so in the clockwise direction on the map, and the Raid will tilt to the left, and the Boss will also be tilted in that counterclockwise direction. This way, if you have the Defile, you get out in time, and we're still in a position where it won't hurt us for our, um, our Valk strategy. Okay. Uh, when we go back into fa fa Transition 2, we're going to do the same thing as Transition 1, except this time both tanks will be in the middle. You're going to have your Group 1 and 2 assignments laid out like this. Um, and we're going to have an AMDG blanket, which will be pushed as a DBM raid warning. Uh, when we get to Phase 3, um, there is a Vile Spirits mechanic instead of the Valkyrs. So we're going to have the, the raid do kind of a general spread that you see lined up here, and the boss will be at the very edge of the map, and the vile spirits will be summoned in that area. And what we'll do is we will have an immunities rotation, which will be planned out ahead of time, and um, so a paladin will go in there, taunt them, attack them, do everything they can to take them, uh, and a DK will send out their army, and that is a rinse and repeat phase. There is another section that'll happen. The person will get pulled into the Shadow Morn, and they'll have to either... There'll be two people fighting in there. I recommend you watch a video on this ahead of time, but it is very simple. If you're a healer, you'll simply heal the fighter. That's good. And when the opportunity comes to interrupt, you'll use an interrupt or a purge if you have it. If you're a DPS, you have to kill that guy and then interrupt him as well. And um, that's the whole fight. And we'll have assignments laid out in the strategy channel um, assigned with these uh, images. And I look forward to downloading those files. Thanks, guys.